do that. I feel like I'm poisoning someone in a movie. Anyway, bon appetit. Good evening. Today is a very nerve-wracking day. I am being a little bit dramatic. Not like me. I would never be dramatic. Hi, by the way, a part of this video is an ad for Discovery Plus. As we all know, I've had blonde hair for a long time. I started bleaching my hair, I think, when I was like 16. And I went like this like grey, like Draco Malfoy colour. I dyed it back right, which I think was like my first video ever on YouTube was dying it back right. And I had it brought in for like two months. I was like, oh, I hate it. So I dyed it back blonde again. That wrecks my hair. Like once you dye your hair brown, you should never try and go back blonde. You have to like just let it all grow out back to your natural color and then you can try again. But I was not patient enough for that. I'm not a very patient person at all. I'm not very patient and I'm quite impulsive, which doesn't really do things for the health of my hair. Thank you to Discovery Plus for sponsoring this part of the video. Also, I'm hiding my hair because I don't want you to catch a glimpse of the reveal at the end of the video. So I'm gonna be telling you about Written in the Stars, a Discovery Plus original, which you can stream on Discovery Plus. Let me like tell you a little bit about the show. So it is a new reality dating show. We all know and love reality dating shows. Basically it's about 12 strangers in a villa but each of these 12 single people in the villa here to find love represent each zodiac sign. They put their love life and like basically their whole life into the control of these top astrologers who are gonna like try finding love through their birth charts alone. These astrologers believe they have found these single people in the show their perfect astrological match. And the whole show is just seeing if they're right, seeing if astrology actually can help you find love. Also, to add a bit of spice into the mix, some of the contestants are like cynics if they don't believe in astrology. It's gonna be very interesting to see if by the end of the show they've changed their mind, maybe they will believe in astrology in the end. I still don't know if I believe in astrology. I'm a bit of a cynic, but who knows what I think after watching Written in the Stars. You guys can get some more information on the show in my description box, but yeah, thank you so much to Discovery Plus for sponsoring that bit of the video, and let's get on with the rest of the video. I used to have the longest, thickest brown hair, and I just miss it so much. Much. If I could go back and tell myself never to dye my hair, I so would. But you know what? It's also really fun. Like, I really love going to the hairdressers and getting my hair done. And, like, I love changing up my hair colors. Anyway, I've just been seeing a lot of like healthy hair routine kind of vibes on TikTok at the minute. And it's making me really want like, a, like long, healthy hair. I don't really care about the color of it anymore. I just want long, healthy hair. And I know if I could carry on bleaching it, I'm not going to be able to do that. Also, with my bleached hair, I can't use heat on it. If I use heat on it, like straighteners or blow dried or anything, my hair would literally like crackle off so i just have to like let it naturally air dry and i don't like the way my hair naturally air dries it's like very puffy and um, i think if i actually tried i could like get some waves in it and sometimes like when i'm on holiday and stuff i do but it's just not like nice straight hair and it's not nice curls it's just kind of like frizzy in between i think the bleach just doesn't help at all so i've decided to go brown i'm kind of scared to go back to my natural color like straight away i feel like that would be a very big change which I'm not quite sure I'm ready yet for. So I've got this photo. And the reason I like this photo is because she's definitely got like a rotten root. So my hair will be able to like grow out easier and it won't be as harsh when it grows out. But she's also got like some blonde in the end. And also this is like how my hair dries. Well, also her hair is a lot longer than mine. So I am thinking of getting extensions. But I just feel like I could wear my hair natural so much if I had it like this. So yeah, that is what I'm going to go do today. Hopefully it works out. I went for a consultation the other day and they were like, it is gonna be quite warm. I think whenever you dye your hair brown, you either have to like go quite warm or it's gonna look green, that's what they said. Okay, I'm on my way to the hairdressers. I feel like this was the perfect day to get my hair done because look at how it's sitting right now. It's just not ideal, is it? I'm gonna try give you an outfit of the day, but I'm in a taxi. I'm wearing my Miu Miu loafers. They're my favorite things in the world. I wear them every single day. And then I'm wearing these jeans from Motel. They just sit fantastically. I've been wearing them like every single day since I got them. I went up like two inches than my usual waist size and they just sit on my hips really, really nicely. It's black puffer season. I did tell myself like this year, I'm gonna get a different color, pu color? color puffer just to switch it up a bit. I mean, it's not a North Face, so I feel like that was switching it up a bit enough for myself. But it just goes with every single outfit. It's like, why would you not want to wear a black puffer every single day? They're practical, they look good, and they go with everything. My ears are so waxy at the minute, which is quite good because I love cleaning my ears. Like, I clean my ears, like, twice a day, even though that's really bad for you, I think. But I realised the reason that they're so waxy is because I've been using headphones. Like, I got the, uh, the AirPod headphones, like, the Apple headphones, and I use them, like, every single day. And apparently, that makes your ears really waxy. But I'm not complaining because I, I don't like when I clean my ears and nothing comes out on the cotton bud. Like, I like it being, like, 
green. Then I got to the hairdresser's, had my wee green tea. Then we took a before shot. Now after this before shot, I took a long, hard look at myself in the mirror and I said, Olivia, you're being a fucking pussy. The inspo pic that you showed was blonde. That was not brown. Get it together. Dye your hair back dark brown. And so I did. And here's how I went. This was like the instant regret. But then I ordered Joe and the juice to cheer myself up. I got my green juice and my coffee. We actually had to dye my hair twice because it didn't really take the first time because it was so bleached. But this was it. Pre-extensions, post-dye. Look how sleek it looks. We decided to do extensions to like lighten up the bottom and I really, really liked like the look it gave. It's kind of like almost highlight. Obviously, ideally, I will get the condition back a little bit of my natural hair, grow it out a bit and then I can get rid of the extensions because I do want to just have my natural hair again. But I'm obsessed with it. I love it. I am now back home. I'm in bed. I literally cannot get over my hair. I feel like every time I look at myself, I feel like I'm wearing a wig for some reason. I'm just so not used to seeing my hair dark. I do love it so much. So I feel like it really makes my eyes pop. It is a Saturday, by the way, and it's nearly eight o'clock and I am in bed already. I feel like I've really like not been doing anything recently because I've been trying not to drink. I've been trying to do Sober November. I have drank twice, so I've, I've failed. And I feel like it's like a really off brand for me and I'm only doing it for November, but I just wanted to like see what my life would be like if I wasn't drinking as much because I just feel like I've constantly been drinking since I started drinking. And although like, I feel really good, I feel really healthy. I love waking up like on the weekends and not feeling like I want to die. It just ended up me kind of like doing all i just struggle to go out with my friends if they're drinking and i'm not it'd be absolutely fine if no one else was drinking and like we were all sober we'd have so much fun but i just feel like i'm missing out if i go out with people who are drinking and i don't drink so i've just been like saying no to things and just sitting in bed but yeah that is why i'm in bed at eight o'clock on a saturday i'm gonna wake up really early tomorrow morning go for a nice wholesome walk i'm gonna go to a shop and buy loads of loads of food because i've invited people over for a roast dinner i was initially gonna have like six people over and that was fine but then people kept asking oh can this person come can this person come and it turns out there's 10 people coming to my house tomorrow for a roast dinner number one i don't know how to cook a roast number two i don't know how to cook meat so i could give everyone food poisoning like i haven't eaten meat in like six years or something and before that my mom always cooked the meat number three my oven like doesn't really work and number four i don't have any like utensils like i have like I have like a baking tray, things that I would need because I live on my own. So like I only bought stuff for me living on my own. I didn't buy things for preparing for a 10 person dinner party. And number five, I don't really like roasts. I actually hate roasts. So I'm like thinking like, what am I going to eat? But anyway, it should be fun. It should be a fun journey to embark on together. Oh my God, I really can't get over the hair. It looks a lot darker on camera than it is in person. But um, I think tomorrow I'm going to do something like fun, like a dark eyeliner or something. Go like proper goth girl. I literally just went like that and then I had to like put it away. That was really embarrassing. Sorry, ignore that. I keep doing this recently. I don't know if it's ironic anymore. I did it as a joke at the start and now it's become like a common hat movement for me and it needs to stop. Good morning. I feel like I need a jump scare right now for me with no makeup and brown hair. I really, I think I need a tan desperately to like get used to this dark hair because right now I think I'm kind of a bit scary. I mean, this is what I'm supposed to look like because this is my natural hair. So I just need to get over it. Anyway, let me fill you in what I've done today. I haven't really done much. I did say I was gonna wake up and go for a walk, but I actually had a really, really nice light in instead. And I've been waking up quite, not early. I've literally been waking up at 9 a.m., which is like a normal time to wake up. But I feel like that's quite early for me. I literally look like the berries and cream boy. I've been preparing for everyone coming today. I will show you what I've done. I tidied my whole house. I emptied the litter tray. I've kind of moved my furniture around here. And I, I, I like the way it looks, but I do think it leaves this whole space like quite open I'm, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this stuff if anyone wants this let me know because I kind of like I bought it from my old flat now I don't really have anywhere to put the stuff but yeah it leaves this area quite open so I think I'm gonna get some cool island chairs I feel like we look so alike I feel like every time I get a cat I look so like them but yes I have my placemats out I think this is from H&M home the placemat and then this is from Zara home I only have three wine glasses because I don't drink wine so I'm gonna have to go buy some more wine glasses I've got my little like skylight light on, which I actually am obsessed with this little light here. And my garden is a mess. I need to get rid of all the leaves, but I cannot be bothered right this second. But yeah, this is what I have done this morning. So now next on the agenda is to go to, I think I'm gonna go to Marks and Spencer's and get all my stuff for the roast there. I feel like M&S has the best like microwave stuff because I'm not gonna make my own cauliflower cheese or like my own carrots and parsnips and stuff. I'm just gonna get the microwave one and M&S. I just feel like it's quite bougie and they do really great microwave stuff. Like I always thought it was a bit of a trait when my mum would bring back microwave stuff from M&S. I have help today because there's a f***ing 10 people and there's no way that I could do that all on my own. I was having a bit of a dilemma last night. Um, so my ex-boyfriend is going to come and help me. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it guys, okay? I'm just like, let me just play, like pretend, happy families. I'm having fun, okay? M&S time. This one or this one. How do you tell which is a good chicken? This one's free range. 
We'll get it. I feel terrible. Oh my god, that's crazy. Okay, so we're back home now and we are prepping the chicken. It's just actually horrible, isn't it? Ugh. Anyway, this is what we've got. We've got the broccoli, we're going to do roasted honey, carrots and parsnips. We're going to make some roast potatoes and then in here we have cauliflower cheeses. We've got Yorkshire puddings back there. We have the chicken Kievs for the vegans. And then for like nibbles for when people get here, I've got like the tomatoes and mozzarella, some olives and, and some paprika king prawns. For drinks wise, I have beers and then i've got diet coke because me and another girl will not be drinking because i'm still trying to do so in a memory even though it feels and then i've got wine but i'm hoping more people will bring wine as like a, as like a gift because i've only got two bottles of wine and there's 10 people coming i want to put you onto this so i got this the other day it's from clinique it's called clinique black honey i'm sure you've seen it on tiktok it's like trending on tiktok everywhere but it looks like this in the pot and you put it on and it's just like a lovely like kind of like it's like your lips, but a darker purple. And I love that shade on me. That's like my favorite shade ever. Like I literally am obsessed with it. It's so subtle, but it's just like for every day. I love it. It's just like, it, it kind of looks like you've been eating like a cherry, maybe. Look, our first guest has arrived and she's come very good. Five, four. She brought, I brought so many different desserts. Oh, this one exploded. Oh, I love profiteroles. I used to get profiterole tar. I can't really say that, can I? Like a tour. Mm, yum, my favorite. I, two. I didn't know how many people were gonna want some. Yeah, good and idea. Some ice cream. Oh, yum, freezer. Perfect. Also, look how cute this little ring is. It's from a girl called Emma Walton, and she sent me it. She messaged me on Instagram and sent me it, and I actually love it because I'm actually getting more into silver, as you can tell by my nails. So, yeah, new oh, ring. Ooh, well done, guys. Shout out to y'all. Sensational work. <laughs> Yay!